vlog after vlog, update after update, stuff after stuff. Yeah, this is Derek Yasha, and on vlog 37, I talk about a bit of stuff, and I'm going to show some pickups as well. So, let's get into it. Well, as for movies, um, there's really nothing going on except for Spider-Man 2, the amazing Spider-Man 2. Um, I'm gonna probably go into low expectations when that film comes out. And also, I changed my mind about the Godzilla uh, 2014 remake. I might see that movie, because I remember I was like... The movie might suck. No, I changed my mind completely. I think I want to go and watch that movie. Okay. And, um, Captain America 2, uh, The Winter Soldier. I might go into that with low expectations, but I'm not going to pay that much for the movie. I'll probably pay, um, probably like, uh, my guy that hooks me up with movies. Don't ask me where I get them. Don't ask me anything. But I'll probably get it for him for five bucks. Because I just don't want to be disappointed. That's all. And as for other movies. The only movie that I'm really looking forward to. Is The Expendables 3. I'm sorry people. That's the only movie that I have faith in. Because every other movie is either disappointing. Or it's just lackluster or boring. And it's not even interesting at all. As like the older movies is. Basically. I mean shit. Um, anything from back in the day is more interesting than the shit that comes out today. Uh, flabbergasted farts. And shit that just flies out of your ass. Yeah of course. And as for video games, you already know how I feel about that. It's already fucking dead. It's nailed to the wall, basically. Nothing is happening for games. Nothing. Nothing at all. As for music, music, there's really nothing going on. Okay, really, there's really nothing going on. It's just the same bullshit as before. It's dead. It's fucking dead. And there's nothing we can do about it. Just how, like, anime is dead. Let's just face it, it is fucking dead. Well, hey, at least I have some of the good animes in my collection. Okay? I really fucking do. And it's just really sad to see. Um, as for comic books, I don't really know. I don't really fucking care because... The comic books that I have, that's the only ones that I care about. And that's the only ones that I'm interested in. I'm not interested in the new fucking 52s or the new Marvel comics or anything like that. No, I don't care. Okay, really, I don't fucking care because the stories are just okay and lackluster. And a clusterfuck as well. But hey, at least um, I have the animated series and things like that, like Superman the Animated Series, or X-Men the Animated Series, or Batman the Animated Series, which, holy fucking shit, dude, they really need to come out with Spider-Man the Animated Series on DVD, really. I can't wait for that when that actually comes out on DVD. Probably Bueno Vista has to release that on DVD. But knowing that the sales for the other things that they released by Buena Vista's, um, probably not. So we probably will never get Spider-Man the Animated Series on DVD how uh, we wanted. Okay, we will we'll probably have to go and probably, um, like buy the original VHSs that that the the series came out on, which is fucking bullshit and it fucking sucks. Okay, so let me get back to what I was saying. Well, as for newer things, it's just fucking dead. Look, okay, it's it's all fucking dead now. And I'm just going to leave it alone after this, okay? Because I don't want to sound like a broken fucking record over and over again. Yeah. 
So anyways, in other news, um, I don't know about the AVGN movie. When is that going to be fucking released? I've been waiting for a long time for it. Probably not. Probably it will take a couple of years for it to be released. Uh, let's see what else. Um, I'm trying to think. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know, I, I guess that's it for now, basically, I, I talked about everything I wanted to, I guess, so yeah, I guess I'm gonna show the fucking pickups, alright, so, Rebound, um, I only watched a little bit of this movie, and so far from what I've what I seen, it's gonna take a long time for this movie to actually pick up, cause, like, the first 30 minutes is just, like, talking and stuff. And there was a little bit of basketball play, from what I've seen, a little bit, but I'm wondering when the movie is going to really pick up and really get good. Just saying, though. Okay, and the next pickup, of course, is... And I found the movie to be okay, and that is Ghost Dog, The Way of the Samurai. And what I could say from for this movie, it was okay. It was a decent watch. Um, there wasn't as much action in the movie. There was only, like, a little bit of action, but it was just, like, story, um, emphasized, basically. Like, the whole thing just revolved around the story, and that was it, but I would say this is a decent watch. Three out of five. Okay. And, of course, being the movie... <laughs> yeah, I have to pick this up. For $2.99, that's a fucking steal. Alright, and I remember renting this shit from Blockbusters, and I enjoyed it when it, when I fucking rented it. And this movie is just a fucking blast. Okay, seriously, this movie is just fucking funny. I would have to give it a uh, 5 out of 5, because this is a really good fucking comedy. Especially... The scene that's on the fucking airplane, you already fucking know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's gross, and it's sick, but hey, at least it's fucking funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is a great fucking pickup. <laughs> and next pickup, of course, is we better stop dicking around Dick Tracy. Hell to the fucking yeah, dog. Well, Mike hates the movie. I'm okay with that. I know a lot of people hate the movie. But hey, I like the movie. It's it's a good watch. And for me, it's a very underrated film, I gotta say. But um, it's been a long time since I ever watched this film. But I can't give this a rating right now because I think the last time I seen this movie when I was, I think... 14 or 15 years old at the time. But yeah, I can't give give it a rating now, but I guess it's a good movie. Okay, and of course, the next one is Ninja, which has Scott Atkins. Hell to the fucking yeah, dog. I gotta say, this was a good watch, an enjoyable watch. And really good action scenes, no fucking shaky cam. I gotta give this film a 5 out of 5. It was really that damn good for a straight to DVD video. And I'm guessing where this, um, um, the film was probably um, released overseas in the theaters. So yeah. And it came straight to DVD over here. But Okay, and of course the next one is, you guessed it, Ninja 2. And I enjoyed this a lot more. Except for that they kill off um, Casey's wife. Spoiler alert. They killed off Casey's wife in like the first five or ten minutes. Yeah. Okay, because he got married. Of course, in the first movie, um, that was his girlfriend. And then he got married to her. And of course, there was a kid coming on the way. But whatever. I don't have to talk about that now. But. All I can say is, the movie still gets 5 out of 5. It was really that damn good. Okay, and I enjoy it a lot more than other shit. Okay, and shit that comes out today in the theaters as well. 
Yeah, it's a lot better than the shit that comes out today. And it's it's just really fucking sad, people. It's really fucking sad. Okay, so let me put that away. I'm sorry. And, of course, the next one is... Tales from the Dark Side, the movie, also known as Creep Show 3. Yeah, the real Creep Show 3, because the other Creep Show 3 was a fucking letdown. Yeah, that disappointment of a film, but... Yeah, um, I remember watching this a little bit on YouTube, and I really enjoyed it, but that was back in, like, I think, 2011 or uh, two years ago. I, I don't exactly remember, but I remember watching bits and pieces of the movie, and I found the movie to be pretty good, but as for a rating, I'll probably give this a 5 out of 5, because everything is done well in this movie, everything is good in this movie. And I would say go pick that up if you can. Of course, the next pickup is My Nigger Totoro. Oops, I mean My Neighbor Totoro. That slipped out. I'm sorry. Um, for what I could say from this movie, um, it's a really good movie, okay? But there's not that much of Totoro in there. My Nigger Totoro or Nig Totoro. There's not really Nig in there. There's not much of Nig. Okay, there's not much of him. But what what can I say for the screen time that, that the Nig shows up? Well, it's pretty fucking good. Okay, and it's enjoyable. But from other times, um, yeah, the movie is good and it, it points out a good message. And it's a really enjoyable film. But I give the movie probably a 5 out of 5. It was just that damn good. Especially the parts when Nig shows up. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry about that. Very fucking racist. <laughs> but hey, I just wanted to get it out. <laughs> and of course, the two best for last. Fucking RoboCop Special Edition Steelbook. Hell fucking yeah, dog. The 20th Anniversary Collector's Edition. Hell to the fucking yeah, dog. For reals. For rizzles, yo. And this comes with a shitload of features. Yeah, disc one and comes with a commentary and uh, I guess the makings of and a feature and another makings and storyboard, deleted scenes, a photo gallery, a the trailer doesn't really count the TV sports, the TV spots, not TV sports. What am I, a fucking dumbass? TV spots. Uh, the TV spot doesn't really fucking count. Um, I guess uh, feature it on the villains, and uh, special effects feature it, and another feature it. So yeah, this comes with a shitload of features, believe me. And... Yeah, I would say go pick this up, but it might be out of print and fucking rare. And me and Mike is lucky to have this in our collections. Yeah, fuck yeah. And the best for last. Yeah, I finally picked up this bad boy after all this fucking time. And it was fucking worth it. For $20, it was worth it. But I remember this being a lot more. Like... Like, uh, 50 or $60 at FYE, but I got it for fucking 20 And that, of course, is Dirty Harry. Um, film collection. Hell to the fucking yeah, dog. Or Ultimate uh, Collector's Edition. I'm sorry for fucking that up, but... Anyways, um, what you get in here is the five movies, of course. Um... Dirty Harry, Magnum Force, uh, The Enforcer, Sudden Impact, The Deadpool, a booklet, and of course in this box we get some goodies as well, and I'll show them right now. Okay, so you get Harry's uh, badge, and his... Um, ID and stuff like that, so yeah. 
Fuck yeah. Of course, that you get the bonus disc. Awesome. Badass. Gangster. And you get a lot of um, movie movie lobby cards and uh, notes and things like that. I don't really want to take it out of there. And of course, a poster that you see where um, Harry needs to go, things like that. I'm sorry if I'm fucking up again. Sorry about that. I don't know, maybe it's something that I ate this morning or something that I drank. Sorry. Ugh. And yeah, I'll show you the booklet as well, very, very quick. Fuck yeah. And of course, it's a hardcover. Sorry if I'm showing it fast though, but I gotta really hurry up with this. Well, I didn't even show that good enough. There we go. I think this booklet is beautiful with the, the, the pictures and all that, and the shots from the movie. Yeah, and so far, um, basically, I uh, really enjoy um, Dirty Harry in the second film, Magnum Force. I really enjoyed that. And later on, I'm going to probably watch uh, the third fucking movie, which is, um, I think it was, I'm trying to remember what the name of it was, the, the Enforcer. I'm sorry. I guess that's it, yeah. Sorry. I guess I could have did this after that, but whatever. Uh, but I guess I'll just talk really quick. And then I'll go after this. Okay, so, um, what I could say is I really enjoy the Dirty Harry movies. And I'm gonna watch the third one today, but... Um, it's a lot better than half of the shit that I seen fucking today and generic action movies. And then somebody's going to point out, well, oh, you like, um, the ride along. And that was a generic action movie. Well, I went into low expectations in that movie and I like that fucking movie. Okay. And that's the only good movie of this year to believe it or not. People consider that to be the worst movie, but no, not really because, to me, it's not the worst movie. What the worst movie is, is 300 Rise of an Epic Fail. Pretty much so, yeah. So, that is it. I am out in peace.